Today we're looking at the Creative Mark Imperial Professional Bristle Brushes. Um, they are an incredibly wonderful, incredibly actually soft bristle brush uh, that we have made for us by a really high-end brush maker in Germany. They have beautiful nickel ferrules, lovely um, balanced wood handles. Um, I mean, they're just they're as beautiful as they are to look at as they are to paint with. Um, they actually, I, I'm not going to say the manufacturer, but there is a Dutch manufacturer that has a hog bristle brush that's one of my favorites that when we had these made, I think even surpasses those. Um, and, and the point that I'm coming from on that is this. Most average hog bristle brushes that are just kind of your average professional artist quality hog bristle, are varying qualities of hog bristle. These are Chongqing, which comes from uh, a province in China known for the highest quality hog bristle. And then they treat it with boiling and some other things to make it so that besides still having the strength of hog bristle, it's got a softness and a control that average hog bristle brushes don't provide the artist. So it's still got the ability to very easily handle heavy loads of, you know, painting and pasto directly, but you can do some glazing and things like that that other hog bristle brushes just kind of don't have that capacity to do and leave too much, you know, very obvious brush stroke on. Um, in how these are made, it's it's very interesting. We, we were talking about, um, about them when we had them developed and, and they were saying that they put the handle up further into the brush than most manufacturers do. And that sounded like a great thing, but it also was kind of one of those things where we were like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. And the quality control guy and I got kind of a wild hair one day and got a die grinder and decided to cut these apart to actually see what they looked like. And we were suitably impressed. Um, these actually do come up much further into the handle than most manufacturers bring them. You can see on this round, this is where that handle actually comes in. And besides just being crimped, most manufacturers say single crimped, double crimped, these are actually glued in with a waterproof epoxy. So besides the fact that these are crimped in where they're not going to wobble and wiggle or do any of that, these babies are just not coming out. Um, and then with the construction of the hog bristle, you can see something that a lot of manufacturers don't do and that's why you get brushes that shed they're hand setting these when they do them with double the bundles of hair of most brushes. And they're actually curving these bristles inward. You can see on this, that inward curve of the bristle on this big filbert so that it's bringing in those flagged tips so that it's going to hold your paint nice and tight. It's going to um, apply it very smoothly and uniformly and keep a nice form and shape to the brush head I mean, I've had this in my office for almost two years now, and look at how just in a drawer that still has that really beautiful uh, brush head and shape to a round there. Um, these are put in also with a waterproof epoxy at the bottom. So these aren't coming out. You're not going to have the shedding issues that you have with normal bristle brushes that most artists just kind of, you get so used to it because it just happens that you don't think about it you won't have to think about it with these. Um, there's an incredible, just a starter set where for a really reasonable price, you can try all of the different style heads. There are, are six different brush styles to choose from. Um, but I think the proof is in the pudding with this. I wanna actually show you kind of how you can apply the paint with these brushes. Um, and I've picked some larger ones, which typically you don't have the control over. This is a size 10 filbert. Um, just using a little bit of, uh, of a lean painting medium. I mean, it pulls the paint out really nicely. It loads very well, but you can get, you know, very nice strokes with that filbert on the side. You can apply paint nice and thick with a nice thick impasto, but you still have lots of control. Um, let's get a, a flat here. I want you to see that you can actually lose some of the, the brush stroke to actually get 
a little bit of a glaze with this if you so choose. This is a size 12 flat. I mean, you've got some control. You can paint, you know, very nice and thin with this. That's nice and thin. It's got good control, but even after, you know, using this, I can still take this and with a very large brush, still use it, you know, to draw, you know, lay out an underdrawing on a large canvas and have a lot of control for a brush this size. That's very unusual, but it's got a lot to do with, when we just looked at that, how that brush is made, how those tips are designed to curve in. Um, and that's even with, you know, this brush has a lot of hair in it. You can see there's a great width to it um, as well as the length. Most flats don't have that body and can't hold that much color in them. These can. So um, the Creative Mark Imperial Professional Bristle Brush, definitely give them a try. They're one of my favorites. Thanks.